I mean, the key elements in our in our service proposition are first of all, we want to be a, a premium airline. Um, there's room for different kinds of airline in the in the marketplace, and our positioning is at the premium end. And the the sort of key focus for our customer service that differentiates it from other people is what we call service straight from the heart. So, I mean, there are many common elements in, in, in airlines and airline service, but the service straight from the heart bit is what we believe differentiates us from, from, from other airlines. And we build all our customer service around that, that component. The important point here is that, is that customers feel that the company cares about them, they're valued as individuals. Uh, and that's very important. So you can go through a robotic kind of service um, where you just you follow the manual, you do what you've been trained. But people can tell the difference between that and where the person actually cares about you, will go the extra mile if they possibly can. And even if they can't do something the customer wants, they, 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 you know that they would have done if they possibly could. I think it's very important for customers to feel that the, the staff are on, are on their side, if you like, <laughs> trying to help the customer. And so this is a very important part for, for basically we ask our customers. Um, I mean, we have a we have a we have a formal process of, of uh, reviewing uh, a customer satisfaction survey on, on every flight. We we survey every flight, and, and the customers are pre-chosen uh, by computers, so we don't just choose the people who look happy. Uh, we, uh, if you're in 14 D, and and the computer says it should be 14 D today, then that's the seat that we, we survey. So we get a good a good feedback from our customers on uh, through the survey. We obviously get a lot of input from customers through uh, direct. Direct communication. People write to the company and say we had a fantastic experience, or we had a very disappointing experience, whatever that is. And we take that that uh, feedback very importantly. We get a lot of stuff from um, from blogs these days and general comments and on on the web. Um, we get a lot of stuff from customer service uh, customer uh, surveys done by magazines and the media and so on. And we also survey our own staff to say to see whether the customers they think the customers are happy with what they're doing. Uh, we impress on our staff that customer satisfaction is a is a really important thing. And I think in this time when when there's a downturn in the industry that we you know the customers have got lots of choice. Uh, it's really important that they that they they feel they're getting value for money and they're happy with the products and service we're offering. So it's a sort of multi multi-discipline approach input into their into into their valuation yes I mean if we I mean lots of compliments is a good thing uh, lots of criticism is a is a is a bad thing um, sometimes it turns out that our staff are, were right and the customer was asking for something that we, we we can't do so we have to be careful about that and sometimes our staff can be over enthusiastic but by and large I mean the, the response from from customers to our staff is is definitely taken into account in their evaluation. Yeah, we we know that our staff are there to look after our customers. Of course, on the aircraft, they're also there for safety reasons and, and other reasons too. But but customer satisfaction is very important for all our staff, not just frontline staff. I mean, uh, you know, for engineers, it's important that they they fix the cabin properly for the customers. So there's a even though you may not actually meet the customer face to face. If you're a chef cooking a meal, or you're an aircraft engineer fixing the fixing the IFE in-flight entertainment equipment, I mean, customer services, customer satisfaction reaches deep into the heart of the company. I think great customer satisfaction is a feeling that you're being treated as a as an individual. You're valued. Uh, the service is personalised to you as much as it possibly can be. And that, and that people are responsive. So when you provide input about something, they, 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 they listen to that and they do something, they do something different. So it's about the personalization and the responsiveness and the feeling that you're valued as a, as a customer. Um, and this is true whether you're on going into a shop, into a hotel, into a restaurant, um, meeting someone in the street. I mean, it's, it's providing a service. It's all the, it's the same, it's very standard elements. The, the challenge is, is how to do that. And the challenge for a, for a business is how to do that in the context of your business strategy and your, and your business plan. I mean, you, you have to be true to what you're offering. So if you're offering a, a, a basic service, uh, a McDonald's, say, or a low-cost carrier, the friendliness and personalization is important, but you're not going to be massively responsive to asking for something to be done in a different way. If you're providing a much more comprehensive premium service, then there's much more room for customization and, and personalization. So you've got to get it right for the product you're, you're offering. 
when you can't go into a shop and say, I, I like this, I like this blouse, but can you please change the buttons? A long history of innovation. A, a couple of ones recently, the, the new seat we have in economy class that doesn't recline into, into your face but stays upright. I mean, that's in response to, to, to uh, I think, every customer who's been in, in economy hates that seat coming coming towards them and, and that's been a that's innovative we're the first airline to put it on on our, on our aircraft and we're very we're very proud of that i think our first class cabins are very a very innovative um business as well in fact all our new seats on our aircraft very 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 innovative um if you go back a little bit further into into time we were the first airline to operate non-stop non-stop flights um shorter routes over the pole so trying to trying to shorten the amount of time it takes to get from a to b i think that's very very important for people. Our, uh, our lounge here at Chetback Cox, very innovative, um, award-winning design, different style to many other airlines. So yeah, long history. A lot of, um, a lot of promotions with uh, with restaurants and famous chefs to produce uh, innovative meals and, uh, and and new things like that. I mean, you go back in time again, we were the first airline to put pot noodles on the aircraft. They're massively popular. It's been copied by many airlines around the world. Um, so yeah. You know.